High five energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising in this cross-watching. And welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what messages the cards are predicting for you in terms of love and romance. Now these messages, they are going to be general. So please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go to the kid. We'll go. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. We'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming up for you. Nine and ten. Okay, there's two consecutive numbers here. Um, and you've got nine that's come out twice here. Okay, the number nine might be of some significance to you here. Uh, there may be some things that might be occurring, some exciting developments for you, or some changes, some drastic changes within nine to ten days from this reading, or nine to ten weeks even. Or like there might be a, a significant reference to a time frame, 9 a.m., 9 uh, p.m., 10 a.m., 10 p.m. here. Okay, but I feel like the number 9 and 10 is quite significant for a lot of you watching. Okay, so what do we have for you here? We have the full and we've got death. Some of you, and I like that because the full faces one way and then the, the death figure faces another. But you can't see because it's not in frame. Just let me try and move things around. Is that better? Okay, so with the Fool's energy, there's something here that I feel like you're finally ready to let go of. Now, there's I feel like there's a romantic energy that you might have been stuck on or a relationship. or Like, it's even a belief. I feel like for some of you, you've been working so hard at trying to make something work for you. Okay, and you've been investing so much of yourself into a certain situation and this person hasn't been giving, you know, they haven't been um, putting it back the effort or the energy that you've been putting in but I feel like you're finally or it could even be an ex someone that you've been lingering or stuck on you're finally ready to let something go now some of you I feel like you're gonna let go even before you're ready but a funny thing happens when you let go of something or someone when you let go of a weight that you know you've been dragging around and it's been weighing you down there's a sense of freedom there's a sense of liberation that comes with it and you feel like this feeling where you're you know, you're not bound or you're not chained to anything or you're anyone and, you know, anything, it's exciting because anything can happen type of energy. So for some of you, I feel like you are ready to let go or you're about to become ready. For others of you, I feel like you're even like going to let go of this person or this energy even before you reach, you know, the precipice. Because a lot of you, I'm seeing that whatever it is that you let go of, you're on the edge of a precipice here. And I feel like a lot of you, you, you're actually not seeing this because you can't see that far ahead, right? But I feel like there's some, there's some really exciting and positive changes and transformations and works that are in, um, in the development, okay? There's some really exciting progress -y, um changes and transformations that are happening for you. Again, it's really hard to see that far out, but some of you, I feel like you're on the edge of this and it's almost like you can feel it. You might not see it coming, but you can feel it coming. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that your, your energy feels like you're putting yourself in a place where it's this energy where you're okay if something happens for you and you're okay if it doesn't. And you know that whatever happens for you was destined for you and whatever doesn't happen for you was ultimately not meant for you. So you're in this very powerful energy and it's almost like, you know, if something doesn't work out for you the way that you envisioned it, you're not letting it get you down it's like you're coming to peace with conflict and you're coming to terms with things and I feel like it's just this sense of liberation and whatever it is that you've been carrying around for so long that's been weighing you down you're finally ready to let it go and ultimately that leads to a very powerful energy because that leads to new beginnings okay closing old doors will, will open up new ones ending relationships that 
hit dead ends or you know that just were going around in circles um, are going to invite new relationships into your life letting go of energies that drain you are going and are going to allow you to enter new energies that will uplift you so i feel like ultimately this a lot of purpose for letting go of this energy or letting go of this very thing or, you know, letting go of this feeling because ultimately holding on to that feeling was only, you were only doing a disservice. So something you let go of, you know, something you end or something you let go of here ultimately gives birth to a new beginning, a new chapter, a new relationship, a new energy. It's like transformative, it's renewed, it's exciting, um... And again, a lot of you, you're on the edge of a precipice. Something here is happening for you. You may not see it, but some of you can feel it, okay? There's a lot of changes. And I feel like what the fool wants you to know, it's it's okay. Some of you, you're like, okay, you don't know what your next step should be. Or you don't know where you should go or where you should take things from here to get to there. You don't have to know, okay? So as long as you keep moving, and I feel like so as long as you've got a bit of a plan, I mean, the fool is... A man without a plan but I feel like so as long as you keep moving and not keep and don't keep yourself stuck I feel like you'll be all right here because you don't need to see where you're going so as long as you keep going you'll get that is the message that I get for some of you now some of you need to connect to your center a little bit and you need to give yourself a little bit more attention because I feel like some of you are giving away some of your energy to someone who I don't know is very deserving because just below you've got the devil and I feel like you could be over applying and over extending yourself and you could be investing into an energy who may be taking things for granted, okay? Who may be taking advantage of you or who may not be appreciating your efforts. Watch where you pour your energy because some people, you know, they love that you give them attention or they love that you give them the energy. They wouldn't do the same for you, okay? So watch whom it is that you love and make sure the people that you love, you know, give you that love and that respect back, give you that same treatment. Because some of you keep pouring your chalice and you're, you're filling up everyone else's chalices. But essentially, it's leaving you dry. It's leaving your chalice dry. So some of you, I feel like you're doing too much for someone. Try this. Stop over-applying, over-extending yourself for this person and see what happens. Because I'll guarantee you that this person is going to turn around and is going to have the audacity to, to ask you why you stopped putting in the effort or why you stopped bending backwards for them. Because to me, it feels like they're more than willing to take, okay, with this disproportionate energy. They're more than willing to take and deplete you of your energy and bleed you dry. But they won't do the same for you in return. So... Some of you, you need to pay close attention where you're directing your energy. But I know that this person is fully deserving of it, okay? The King of Cups, some of you, I feel like, need to be a little bit more in control of your emotions. If you believe something to be true, um, I feel like is very uh, important, is very reflective of whether it is or it isn't. Some of you, you need to, there's a bit of like an emotional storm going on with, within you. And I feel like what will help is center yourself, okay? Connect to yourself, connect to your center, and um, everything will work out okay here. But so as long as you keep rocking the boat, I feel like it'll only make things worse, okay? Um, King of Wands, I'm seeing that there is someone here. Okay, there's an energy here whom you're very attracted to. This energy feels like it's an addictive and um, kind of an obsessive kind of energy. There's someone that you keep thinking about. There's a relationship that keeps going around in circles but not actually getting anywhere. Um, this, it's like you, you're very stuck on this person. And look, there's a lot of sexual energy. There's a lot of sexual chemistry. And look, you know, um, there's a lot of passion there. But what else is there? Because I feel like... The Nine of Wands tells me either you're closed off to this being anything more than it is, or this person is closed off to this going any deeper here. So ask yourself whether, you know, the devil here weigh up the short-term pleasure up against the long-term pain that it's causing you. Because some of you, yes, you're attracted, and yes, there's passion, and yes, there's lust. But can this lead to love, okay? Is there more, okay? Does this extend beyond attraction? Is this actually going anywhere? Because the, the Wheel of Fortune, you keep coming back to this person. You guys, you know, you're a thing, you're not a thing, you're on, you're off, you're hot and cold. And again, you know, it's you're very stuck on them and this person is very stuck on you. But I wonder if this is consuming you to the point where, like, you're so distracted that you can't focus or you can't go about your daily life without thinking about them, okay? If that's the case, if you find yourself in that kind of emotional field... That's unhealthy, okay? That no longer is love. It's it's an obsession and you need to, 
you need to look into that a little bit closely because some of you I feel like you're so fixated on this person or on this energy but I wonder if you're idolizing what could be with this person rather than what really is I wonder if a lot of you um, if that's the case if you're really stuck on someone I feel like to help you get unstuck the message that I get for you is Contact this person, see if the two of you can go out or spend some time together just to see if your idolized version of this person really matches, matches up to the reality of them. A lot of the times it probably won't and that might help you, you know, all of a sudden you'll go, well, I don't see what the big deal was about. So it might help you get unstuck in that regard, guys. Um, something he needs working on, I'm feeling that there is someone around you who can offer you some very powerful advice when it comes to love and romance. Some of you are picking up couples therapy or counseling or... Some of you, I feel like you're either working, collaborating with someone or someone like a connecting energy is going to be very helpful. So someone could offer you advice. I feel like at first you might go, oh, okay, like they'll strike a nerve with you or strike a chord with you. And you might be a little bit uneasy with what it is that they have to say. But when you think on it, really think on it, it kind of makes sense. And they may be right. Let's not, let's not tell them that, but they may be right, guys. Okay, some of you, the Ten of Cups, I'm seeing something lining up for you. Again, you've got the Nine and the Ten so closely aligned. So watch for those dates or those key dates, those time frames, because I feel like something he is going to work out for you. Rather than work against you, I feel like something is... Um, working for you something you've been trying to manifest or something you've been trying to wish comes to fruition i feel like starts showing up into in your life so it could be like a relationship it could be a romantic energy it could be this person that you've been fixated on you know they might pop up into your life or they might come back into your life or there may be communication or contact from them something that you've been wanting and you've been desiring for quite some time shows up my question is, is it as good as you thought it was? Because some of you, I feel like you've put, so, you've built this up so much in your head and you, you may be putting so much pressure on it that when you finally get it, a lot of you will say to yourself, and I don't want to put you off, but I feel like there's a lesson in it. And the lesson is, you know, some of you, I feel like have been idolizing or romanticizing this person or this thing too much. It feels great. But some of you, I feel like you're giving it a little bit more credit than it deserves. But watch for those dates, okay? Watch for those dates because I feel like there's something that happens for you rather than happens against you. Whether it's a lesson or whether it's something that finally manifests or comes to a fruition. Okay, I feel like... And again, it's something that you're in alignment with. So if, that, if you finally hear from that person, it's because that person is they got on that same vib emotional vibration as you, okay? You're on that same emotional vibrational frequency. This is why they will all of a sudden pop up. They're ready to talk. They're ready to communicate. They're ready to give this a go, okay? So you line up with something or someone here. The five of ones, this is your energy. I'm seeing that you're... I'm seeing you're at war with something. If It could be with another energy or you could be trying to fight yourself here. You could be at war with your head or your heart here. I wonder who wins. I wonder who wins. I wonder if anyone wins here. Um, there's some friction. I don't know if it's internal or external. You decide. But there's some friction. There's some unease. Um, it's like an unsettled kind of energy. What are you fighting? Okay. Who are you up against? And is this, you know, is this a battle worth fighting for? For some of you, I feel like there's something key that you're either fighting for this person or fighting for this thing. Is it worth fighting for? You know, they say pick your battles. Is this worth it? Um, or if you're at war with your head and your heart, you know, um, you need to, you need to, again, you need to connect to your center. Okay. Find something that stills you and listen to ultimately, you know, what that inner voice inside you says, because there's some friction. And so as long as you don't sort through this friction or this um, really unsettled kind of energy, it's going to continue to pop up in different areas of your life. So before you go around and trying to fix, you know, your financial problems or your relationships or your you know relationships with anyone else, fix what's bothering you inside, because ultimately, you know, fix the root of it. So as long as you get to the root of it, to the, you know, to the core of it, you can then try and fix this, okay? You can stop it from hindering you in other areas. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.